Welcome to Gear Up 2021. My name is Peter Pocolo and I'm the Executive Director of Bicycle Colorado. It is so nice to reconnect with you again in person. We didn't have a Gear Up in 2020 due to COVID. And this is our first large in-person gathering since February of 2020. So whether you're at Wings Over the Rockies, at a Gear Up house party, or logging in from somewhere else, thank you for joining us. It'll come as no surprise to learn that COVID presented us with a few challenges. But because of the support that many of you provided during this difficult time, we not only sustained our portfolio of work over the past year, in some cases, we've been able to expand our impact. In many ways, the pandemic brought out the best in our team. It motivated us to be more resourceful, resilient, and creative. And we learned some lessons along the way that will make us more effective in the future. For example, education is a big piece of our work and COVID shut down in-person learning. The team didn't miss a beat and pivoted to a virtual platform delivering 50 classes that reached nearly 750 people. COVID unleashed a bike boom. People falling in love with or rediscovering their love of biking is a good thing, of course. But here's what is also getting us excited. First, many of these bicyclists are noticing bike infrastructure or the lack of bike infrastructure, and they're demanding more safe places to ride. Second, government leaders are noticing this too, and many have finally figured out that what's good for biking is good for our climate, our physical and mental health, and our economy. In other words, bike policy is also climate policy, public health policy, and economic development policy. And bike policy is cheap, comparatively speaking. This truly is a unique moment in time to make biking safe and accessible for people of all ages and abilities, whether they are riding for recreation or everyday trips. One key to capitalizing on this moment will be to have your continued support. Before we begin our program, there are a few people I want to thank. And let's start with our sponsors, Kathy and Graham Hollis Foundation, Colorado Bike Law, and Tokyo Joes. Their financial support helps cover the costs of Gear Up, which means your contributions go directly into our programming. I also want to thank those who donated items to our silent and live auctions. Many of these people and organizations faced their own challenges and hardships over the past year, and yet they still found a way to support Bicycle Colorado. In a more normal year, it's not easy to pull off an event like this. During a pandemic, it's really hard. We would not be standing here this evening without the work of our Gear Up Committee, a group of committed volunteers who invested countless hours, most on Zoom, to make this evening a reality. And this committee is so effective, in large part due to the leadership of our Gear Up co-chairs, Shannon Anderson and Don Nakamura Kessler. I will just say this about Shannon and Dawn. When they roll up their sleeves and start to work, you do not want to get in their way. This year, approximately 200 people are attending a Gear Up party at one of eight homes across Colorado. Hosting a party is no small task, so to all the families who have opened their homes to us, thank you. To our board of directors, your sage guidance and sometimes critical feedback is so important to our success. Thank you for this and for your contributions to this event. Every month for over about three years now, a group of volunteers known as the Respect, Inclusion, Diversity and Equity Advisory Board provides us important input as we strive to make our team and bicycling more equitable and inclusive. To our Ride Advisory Board, thank you for leaning into some tough conversations and helping me be a better leader on this issue. To my teammates, I'm grateful that you always sweat the details, which can make or break an event like this, but I'm especially grateful for the passion and expertise you bring to work every day and how all of you have responded to the challenges and opportunities presented by COVID. I am just so lucky to be on your team. I have to give a special shout out to one of our newest teammates, Deborah Armstrong. Deborah joined Bicycle Colorado as her development director at the beginning of COVID and has had very limited in-person face time with the team and our supporters. In fact, I think this is Deborah's first in-person Bicycle Colorado event. So if you're at Wings Over the Rockies, please reach out to her and say hello. Deborah, this event would not have happened without your leadership. Thank you. Finally, I want to thank all of you, our attendees. Again, we can't do this work without you. So from wherever you are joining us, I hope you win whatever auction items have caught your attention. And now, go have some fun.